Good in-game morning, and welcome to another Valheim mod video. So today we're looking at utility mods, uh, things that add some utility to the game, add some extra usefulness, changes the, the mechanics of the game just a little bit uh, so that it doesn't break the game, but it does expand the game a little bit. Let's get started. So in the bottom left corner over here, uh, where my food is, it has bars uh, to indicate the amount of food remaining. And the amount of health and stamina I have is really not proportional to the food degradation of vanilla Valheim. Hello. So what this mod does is extends the time it takes for the benefits of the food to degrade. And it's exponential. So it uses the formula y equals 1 minus x to the 8th power. Uh, and that exponent is configurable. So instead of dropping off linearly like the vanilla game, it means that 50% of the way through the food, you're still getting nearly 100% of the benefit. And 75% of the way through the food, you're still getting about 90% of the benefit. And the values drop off sharply at the end of the food's lifetime. Uh, and that's because it's exponential. So that makes sense. It's a curve. So yeah, this is just a, a little utility mod that extends the usefulness of your food without really breaking the game, extending it all the way to the end. So it does it in a more realistic way because it fills you up and then it keeps you full for a long time and you continue to get energy from it. And then at the end, when you get hungry again, it sh falls off sharply. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. The Tune Your Zoom mod is pretty straightforward. It basically extends or shortens, if you really want to, the maximum zoom distance that you can have uh, while running around and while on a boat. I have it set to 15 while I'm running around, which is about here. So it just about doubles the vanilla zoom. And then when I'm on the boat, I can go even farther. So now we're on the boat, and if we sit down, zoom out, that goes all the way to 30 is what I have it set at. So now you can uh, tune this to your heart's content and change your zoom all day long. The Better Auto Run mod is a really nice utility mod that uh, changes the mechanics of auto running in this game. So. Without it, auto running is a little bit strange. You press Q and you start to auto run and you can't really direct yourself. You can hold down the right click and move with the camera, but that's about it. You press any other button that moves your character and it stops the auto run. With this, I press Q. First of all, it starts sprinting right away. Um, second of all, I'm just moving my mouse. I'm not holding down the right mouse button and it's following tracking with the camera which is nice uh, what you'll see in a second is that it also runs down to by default 50% stamina and then stops running this thing is gonna get me uh, don't hit my barley haha uh -huh. so it stops running at 50% stamina or stops sprinting at 50% stamina I should say it also allows you to strafe. I'm pressing left and right. I can jump. I can run around freely with auto run. So that's pretty nice. The move piece mod is actually really cool. It allows you to move pieces that you've already placed, including chests with items in them, like this one. So you can see there's some items in it. I equip my hammer, hold down V, and move this around. Now the speed at which this thing moves around 
is configurable. So it's, the default is 10, um, but if you're trying to run around, 10 is actually kind of slow, and you'll see why. You actually lose it. So instead of doing that, you can set your walk, or you can just increase the speed that it moves. So that's what I plan on doing, is configuring the speed that it moves. But yeah, you can... Um, you can move things around and, and reposition things, and it's really useful to not have to break it down, pick up all the materials, and then build it again. So, yeah, this is a nice little utility mod. The Change Forsaken Power mod is also pretty straightforward. Uh, it just allows you to change your Forsaken power on the go, uh, without having to go to the stones. You just press F1, and it changes to whatever you have unlocked. Now, in the settings, in the config file, you can change it so that you can use it even though you haven't unlocked it yet. So if you haven't beat the boss yet. And you can also set it so that if you press F3, it resets the cooldown of your Forsaken Power. I don't personally do the F3 one because it feels a little cheaty to me, but I guess, you know, if you're already modding, you're already modding, so go for it. But yeah, this is just a little utility mod that I like to use. Well, it's the end of the day. Uh, time to get to bed. Thanks for watching. If you have any mods that I left out of the utility category that you feel like I should put in, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll make another video. The instructions for how to download all these is going to be in the description as well. And thanks for watching.